welcome to week eight, our proportional solar system. This week we're going to be making a solar system um, out of our balls and marbles and some rings. Um, you will be given a container with all of the materials that you're going to see here in it. There'll be two of them. We're going to do two classes at a time. If we can, we're going to go outside in the grassy area too. We just need a flat space to do this well. If it's raining or too windy, then we'll do it inside in the hallway. Rhonda and Hillary could do it in the back of your class because your class is big enough. Um, I've taken what is out of the curriculum, our basic chart, and I've reworked it to be a little more easy to do the actual project with. So you'll have one of these in your box as well. The biggest thing, way to make this easy, I feel like, is to take your materials before you go outside, or you could do it outside. I would get a picture or a book of the solar system. Have the kids talk about comparing and contrasting the planets, the size of them, how far they are from the sun, which ones have rings, which ones have moons, how many moons, um, their colors, what's something special we've already learned about Venus in last week's or two weeks ago project, um, and so forth. Talk about the planets a little bit, get them a big picture, and then tell them we're going to make one of those today. So we're going to start, um, when you come outside, give each child, there's eight planets, and so give each child a planet, have them line up in order, and if you have a ninth student, then that could be your student who does the rings and the moons. So they would be in charge of the marbles and the wired rings. That way everybody has a part, and it goes a lot smoother that way. Line up your tape measure. First of all, we go ahead and just pull it out and leave it extended. We have a 25 foot tape measure and I think a 40 foot tape measure. So the 25 foot one, um, just lay it out and then you'll go about, not quite 200 inches past that. You'll just kind of guesstimate um, where Neptune is at the end. We start here at the beginning with the sun. So you have the sun and that's where your tape measure starts. And then your chart tells you exactly how far to go from the sun to set each planet. So 5.8 inches, we have Mercury, which is our tiny little pink puffball, and then Venus, Earth, and then Mars. And so on your chart it tells you which ball to use and how far to set it out from the sun. You go on to each planet, Jupiter, can walk this way first. Yeah. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune clear down there at the end. And so it stretches out um, over 35 feet altogether. Once you have the planets laid out, then you can go back and you can add in the details. Add in the moons on your chart again. It tells you how many moons each planet has, which planets have rings for rings. We're using these little metal shiny things. These are our rings. Jupiter has one ring. Saturn and Uranus have a whole bunch. And then Neptune has another one at the end. The moons just kind of guesstimate. Where the asteroid belt is, is going to be just a line of marbles that you have laid out. All right, have fun.